In today's video, we'll test out 15 games on a mini PC that uses the Intel i9-12900H and will only be using the onboard GPU. Have Intel up their game, or have you once again been left out in the cold? Welcome to Team Pandori. Subscribble. For this round of game tests, we'll be using the Ace Magic AD08. This model has the i9-12900H, which we reviewed in an earlier video. It's using two sticks of 3200MHz DDR4 in a dual-channel configuration. Windows 11 Home and all its drivers have been updated to the latest versions, and the knob has been set to performance mode. I'll leave you now with the rest of the system info before we get into the testing. First up is Fortnite. We're using the performance renderer, and the game is certainly playable. There are times when the FPS goes below 60, but that's only when the computer needs to render graphics in the distance. Overwatch 2 is quite playable, with speeds hovering around the 60 mark. But when it comes to Counter-Strike 2, this computer struggles somewhat. Ideally, this CPU needs to be teamed together with an external GPU, much like a GeForce or Radeon card. Grid Water Sport. We know it's an older game, but it performs pretty well. And we're clicking down graphical settings to high or medium will increase speeds dramatically. Dirt 3 complete. As this is also under the Codemasters umbrella, this too is very well optimized. If you lowered graphic settings to medium and raise resolution to 4K, I'm sure we'd still have a very playable game.
Forza Horizon 5. Much like Counter-Strike 2, we can see from the GPU usage that this game would also benefit from an external graphics card. Lowering resolution to 720p, we get a few extra frames. It is playable, but it's still nowhere near a buttery smooth 60. Moving on to Rocket League, we have around 60 FPS on 1080p high quality settings. Next up, Rise of the Tomb Raider. As this is a slow paced game, it's still playable at 30 FPS. However, it matches the same speed as a Ryzen 5700U mini PC that we had in a previous round of game testing. The Order of Trinity pursued the Prophet and his people relentlessly until finally confronting them in their hidden oasis. A way through. And here's Tekken 8. At 10 to be low settings, this game is unplayably slow. And when dropping to 720p, it does get a little faster, but it still slows down and looks absolutely terrible for a recently released title. Pal world. I wanna be a macho man. Here's GTA 5 with all those sliders pulled to the right. There's a lot you can do with the graphic settings, so a constant 60 FPS at 1080p is certainly on the cards.
skin only inches. Hey, Screw this. No way. In my mind, I have it. Hey, look out for fools like me. Cyberpunk 2077 is yet another game that struggles to perform. If we lower resolution to 720p, we do get some extra frames. However, the Intel Iris XE GPU is simply not powerful enough for this title. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt While this action RPG running at around 40 FPS can have some enjoyment, this is in low settings at 720p. Fallout 4, 1080p, medium. As Fallout 4 is an RPG, this one is surprisingly playable. Again, the GPU is hitting its limit with 30 to 40 FPS outside, which then speeds up when indoors. Last up, Dave the Diver. As this is a 2D game, this mini PC has no problem in giving us a full 60 FPS. If you found this video informative, please smash that like button. We have many other videos on the channel, such as these here. Why not give one a go? This has been Nimi Chicken and Team Pandori, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra!